Welcome to the old boar plays City Skylines 2. We've just put in this new cargo harbor. And it is really nice. Super nice. And we've put in the storage. We are storing wood or metals these industry buildings are so nice the developers just really outdid themselves here some of these are not working because they need educated workers you can tell they're working when they have smoke i guess but these are all new it's just going to take some time for the game to get over here and this is our industrial waste and i've thought about moving the trash this is our trash center here. And see this landfill. Um, hope it's not polluting this farm here. I'm sure it is. Now we've got ground pollution coming into the farm. We're going to have to move those farms. This is an incineration plant. Which probably also needs to move over to this little island here. This is a... I think this is a signature building. Plus one industrial efficiency. And surprisingly, after putting in the cargo harbor, we're making money still. And we do have medium density demand. And so maybe if we just delete those out, they'll come back. This is also mixed density. Maybe it will come back. And if you can imagine the database that has to run this. Really nice looking homes. They were all up on stilts earlier. These are level... This is almost a level four. Got solar panels. This is our radio tower. And I don't think we've upgraded this. That gives it more coverage. And that is over here. And we have server farms now. And I don't quite know how they work, but um, it's over here. 
rows and banks of raw computing, computing power to immerse resources to handle network traffic can be upgraded with fiber optic cables and advanced computers. Wow. 50000 a month. Range 1.6 miles. This is the big telecom tower. These are 5000 a month. This is 95000 a month. And we would have to pick a pretty strategic place to put all of that infrastructure. And we've got water coming out here. And we are trading water. We've got water exporting. We're still good on our water. We're still in the dark green. Um, I don't know about exporting sewage. Sewage treatment, sewage export. Um, and we've got both lines. This one isn't flowing. Maybe it didn't connect. We can sell our sewage. We don't have to process it. Okay, so it is connected. This one's connected and flowing. This one is connected and not flowing. Why would that be? See the little angle there? It is connected. So if you don't get it, you can just move on until you've move on to take care of more important things. Not really for sure what I should do with those. They are abandoned. I just need to remember that at the clover leaf and near the bridge, we've got two abandoned houses. See what actually happens to those over time. Now, when my game changed from May to June, the color became darker. And it looks like the trees are losing their um, yellow color that we had from winter. So we have a lot to do here. And one of the things is um, maybe putting in this harbor. Passenger ships stop here to unload and load and unload. A passenger terminal allows passengers to board and disbark. Terminal that must be the extension to it And we bought this tile to do this Right here on the main island the main land and Here's where your shipping lane comes through This is a cargo ship <clears throat> really nice. And so
still haven't gotten industrial waste over to that little plant there. This is a residential zone. And this is our water pumping station. Let's just check to see where we have those. We've got two, and we've got this, which is a water treatment plant, and a water treatment plant over here. So this should be the harbor right in here. And what we could do is just kind of take a look at it and see how big it is. Think about how it's going to connect up to the real world. No, we bought this tile for the harbor. That was good. Okay, we're not going to have to worry about changing out residential or infrastructure. And this has single point interchange here. Service interchange. Which can get them over to the Cloverleaf and into the downtown or over the bridge. This is a good place for it, but we don't know if we can get our... lane through here without buying those tiles and I don't think you can exceed city limits yep it'll have to wait it will have to wait and we would have to buy One, two, three tiles. I'd have to buy this one. Let's see where the waterways are. We'd have to buy this tile. And this one. We might think about putting the harbor somewhere else. So we wasted a tile, we live and we learn, and what we are concerned about is getting farming going here. And this, this whole residential area here is farming. What we're going to do in the meantime is... Just take a little road off. And go to farming. Grain farming. And before we do anything, distance too long. Oh, we moved that incorrectly. Complete area, it says. Okay. 
And now we can come back in with this tool and just clean it up a bit. She could have both of these on at the same time. I guess you can. It's over, not overlapping correctly here. Harvestable area. goes out a little bit further maybe distance too long that's our grain farm New profitability. Not seeing where the production chain is. I think it's here. Milestones. Production. We're in deficit on grain, and that's why we need that grain. Import, export. We do not have cotton or oil, metal ore, coal, rock. Only thing we're producing, I think we're producing everything except metal ore. That's over here. These don't upgrade. This is a really wonky job of doing that, but I just wanted to get it functioning. Metal ore, it says. Well, I guess we're using it. So we have to be very careful about how we think about expanding here. And I think we're going to want another one of these in here. This is traffic coming in from the outside. I may not have wanted to connect this road to the outside yet. Because we do have a lot of other outside connections 
that are backing up the traffic over here. But we'll just leave it. Um, if you're making money and your citizens are happy and you're moving along, I just leave well enough alone, I guess. And we're going to want one of these, I believe, out on the very end, eventually. In other words, this goes out to the end of the map. This becomes our loop. And so from the loop, which will be here, we want another interchange here, right about in the middle. And that would probably be this one. And I'm thinking about right here. And so we need to trim back just a bit. And overlapping items. Let's see if we can hook these in here. those hook in if you get down closer you could see how it make where it makes it straight and i'm thinking when you see blue lines that's where you want it and then these will trim back just a bit so that we can make those connections just a little more smooth This is three lane highway. And now we have another uh, six lane road. Let's just see how this laid this in. There's no stop signs or anything in here. It's just a red light in the middle of it. They'll figure out what's going on here. They didn't have to wait very long for this intersection to be built. Um, six lane road. And then this six lane road comes out as well. Let's see what it did here. Did it put any lights in? Yeah, there's no lights or stop signs or anything there. Let's see about here. No lights or stop signs. It's just traffic. I mean, we're at negative one, so I guess we're okay.
And this is the collector road here. And this is the collector row, but you don't want to connect it up that close. This is four lane. And considering that the loop comes out, This is six lane all the way th through to here. Look at all, it goes, goes all the way to the end. Having to pause here to fix my voice, nothing worse than uh, watching a video with someone with a groggy voice. This is six lane. Four lane. This is the four lane major highway coming up to get up to it. This will have um, a service interchange as well. Let's see. About the same place as this, which is right here, and then another one over here. And this will form the loop. The reason we're taking so much time to think about it is because there's no population gap, uh, cap in this game. And this is also four lane. And is this four lane here? Yes, it is. Can't see the angle. You want those angles um, so that all your zoning in the middle is correct. And then before you connect all these up, you want to zone so that all your zoning squares are correct. 
you don't have these gaps in here like this. And so we're finally zoning out to increase the population. We got a lot more over here we can deal with. This is all going to be major downtown area, I believe. This whole area in here. And this might be the place for the university up on the hill here. So thanks for watching the old war play City Skylines 2. And we'll see you in the next time. Take care now.